Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today, this is the last part of the syndromes. Now, the first one is here fourth syndrome. This is a race acute variant of sarcoidosis characterized by enlargement of parotid or salivary glands, facial nerve paralysis and anterior uveitis. Treatment for this is yet there is no standard treatment established due to rarity of this syndrome. However, treatment based on that for neurosarcoidosis in which facial nerve palsy is frequently observed. Next, Horner syndrome. It consists of a constricted pupil which is known as meiosis, drooping eyelid, unilateral of sweating that is anhydrosis on the face and occasionally sunken eye which is known as anophthalmos. Generally, the cause for this syndrome is it is caused by interruption of sympathetic nerve fibers at the cervical ganglion example bronchogenic carcinoma invading the ganglion or neck trauma general cause is to damage to nerve pathway between brain and face in what it is called sympathetic nervous system to treatment is there is no specific treatment instead the condition that cause Horner's syndrome will be treated in some cases if the symptoms are mild no treatment is needed the next is Hurler's syndrome it is an inherited condition caused by a faulty gene you can see in this picture a large head frontal posing hypertellurism and coarse features give its classical appearance some of the symptoms like frequent upper respiratory infections, enlarged tonsils and adenoids are observed. Next is Kawasaki disease. It is a condition that causes inflammation in the walls of some blood vessels in the body. It usually affects children who are less than 5 years with pyrexia which means fever, rash, cervical lymphadenopathy, dry cracked lips, red eyes, red fingers and toes. There is no specific cause but number of theories link the disease to bacteria, virus or other environmental factors. Treatment is, it is usually treatable. Initially, aspirin and IV immunoglobin therapy is given. Next is Les Nyhan syndrome. It is a condition characterized by neurological and behavioral abnormalities and the overproduction of uric acid in the body. Formation of uric acid crystals in the joints leads to inflammation. Generally, the signs and symptoms include inflammatory arthritis, kidney stones and bladder stones. Treatment is no standard treatment for the neurological symptoms, but some may be relieved with the drugs levodopa, diazepam and phenobarbital. Next is Marfan syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition characterized by tall, thin stature and long, thin, spider-like hands, dislocation of the lens, high arched palate. Joint laxity is also common. Generally, the cause is due to a defect in the gene that enables your body to produce a protein that helps give connective tissue its elasticity and strength. Treatment is, while there is no general cure for this syndrome, Treatment mainly focuses on preventing the various complications of the disease. Usually, they prescribe blood pressure lowering drugs to help prevent the iota from enlarging and to reduce the risk of dissection and rupture. Here you can see the difference between a normal hands and Marfan syndrome. You can see enlarged fingers and arm bones. Next is melkerson rosenthal syndrome. It is a rare neurological disorder characterized by recurrent facial paralysis, swelling of the face and lips you can see in this first picture and the next picture you see is development of folds and furrows in the tongue which is known as a fissured tongue. Generally the treatment is corticosteroids for orofacial edema, intralesional betamethasone along with oral doxycycline is used. Next. Orofacial Digital Syndrome. It is actually a group of related condition that affect the development of oral cavity that is mouth and teeth, facial features and digits, fingers and toes. 
because is only one gene OFD1 has been associated with this syndrome then mutation in this gene causes a type 1 orofacial distal syndrome the treatment for this syndrome is involve reconstructive surgery for facial clefts genetic counseling is recommended for patients and their families next patterson brown kelly syndrome which is also known as plummer vinson syndrome it is a disorder marked by anemia caused by iron deficiency and a web-like growth of membranes in the throat that makes swallowing difficulty. Generally, it is treated effectively with iron supplementation in case of significant obstruction of esophageal lumen by esophageal web and persistent dysphagia which means difficulty in swallowing despite iron supplementation, rupture and dilation of the web are necessary. Pugh's Jagger syndrome it is an autosomal dominant genetic disorder characterized by development of polyps in the gastrointestinal tract and hyperpigmented macules on the lips and oral mucosa known as melanosis. Symptoms are clubbed fingers or toes, cramping pain in the belly area. Treatment generally polyps are treated with a procedure known as polypectomy which involves removing of the polyps with an endoscope. If the polyps are very large, surgery may be necessary. ramsey hunt syndrome. I think many of you are familiar with this syndrome. Yes, it is a rare neurological disorder characterized by paralysis of the facial nerve and a rash affecting the ear or mouth. Ear abnormalities such as ringing in the ears which means tinnitus and hearing loss may be present. Generally, the cause usually occurs in people who have had chicken pox. Once you recover from chicken pox, the virus stays in your body. Sometimes reactivating in later years cause shingles, a painful rash with fluid filled blisters. Treatment for this syndrome is antiviral medications like acyclovir in conjunction with corticosteroids like prednisone. Next is Rater syndrome which is known as reactive arthritis. It consists of arthritis, erythritis and conjunctivitis. There are frequently oral lesions which resembles benign migratory glossitis in appearance but affect other parts of the mouth. The cause for this syndrome is an infection caused by bacteria such as salmonella. Treatment, it is treated with antibiotics Joint inflammation is usually treated with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin or ibuprofen. Skin eruption and high inflammations can be treated with steroids. Next, Sika syndrome. It is also known as primary Jogren syndrome. It is an immune system disorder characterized by dry eyes which is keratoconjunctivitis and dry mouth xerostomia and another disease of connective tissues such as rheumatoid arthritis. Generally, the symptoms include pain in joints or muscles. In mouth, you can see dental cavities. In throat, you can see difficulty in swallowing and dryness. And treatment generally includes eye drops, medications such as steroids, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and immunosuppressive drugs, and eye surgery. Next, Steven Johnson syndrome. It is also known as erythema multiforme major. It is a rare serious disorder of skin and mucous membrane. It is usually caused by an unpredictable adverse reaction to certain medications. It can also sometimes cause by an infection. The syndrome often begins with flu-like symptoms followed by a red-purple rash that spreads and forms blisters. Generally, the affected skin eventually dies and peels off. Treatment is first stop the non-essential medications and supportive care like uh, fluid replacement and nutrition, wound care and eye care and medications such as antibiotics to control infection and pain medication to reduce the discomfort. Next, Trotter syndrome. It is a clinical triad of unilateral deafness, neuralgia affecting branches of trigeminal nerve and defective mobility of the soft palate in which it is caused by malignant tumors involving the lateral pharyngeal recess. And the next and the last one in the topic syndrome is 
von Reklick Hansen neurofibromatosis or syndrome it is a genetic disorder characterized by the multiple non cancerous benign tumors of nerves and skin which is neurofibromas and areas of abnormal skin color cause generally it is a genetic mutation mutations are changes in your genes a mutation occurs on the neurofibromin gene causing an increase in the development of cancerous and non cancerous tumors the treatment for this is chemotherapy radiation therapy or surgery and thank you so much for listening the syndromes and if you have missed earlier any part of the syndromes please do check the previous videos and we'll meet you again in another new topic thank you and if anyone have forgot to subscribe our channel please do subscribe our channel